Yeah. It must have been volunteer days, and you know, you can tell us a bit about when you were a volunteer back in the day. And, yeah. You know, the good points and the bad points. How was it? Yeah, st I started out coaching. I was 15. It was with softball, and um, it was just uh, you know all the kids around my area just needed something to do, and my mother volunteered me actually, and says, look, Daryl will Daryl look after the kids on a Wednesday night, and we'll do softball. So that's how we got involved, and we put them all into Marist softball, and. Uh, that's where I started off coaching, but you know I used to love it. I used to enjoy it. Um, uh, you know, having the parents down there always made me nervous because I was sitting there, you know, young fella, and all these parents watching what I was doing and that. But they really enjoyed it and got a lot out of it. I guess it set me up for a, a love of coaching. Yeah, to, to be honest, um, coaching it was a natural progression. I mean, uh, lucky enough to get paid for it eventually, but that wasn't always the goal. You know, my, my goal was to obviously a career. I was a teacher and, and, and that sort of thing, and I, I actually went into special special needs education, and that was that's where I was going. And um, when coaching sort of took over after the World Cups, there were a few opportunities that came up, and at that stage I looked at them and thought, well, you know, I'd, I'd love to go to that country and do something, and, and it was always part of experience, and it was always a matter of um, eventually coming back to teaching. But uh, I haven't got back there yet, so I'm still still doing this at the moment. Right. The, the volunteers at the grassroots level are vital, and that's probably the main part of my job at the moment is working with um, coaches that are coaching at club level, coaching with kids, you know, the, the small blacks, um, you know, through the schools and that, because if they're doing a better job, the coaches are, are, are getting that support, they'll love it, it won't be a chore for them, and they'll love it like I, I really enjoyed it, and um, they'll just keep turning out better athletes for us, and um, it makes the job a lot easier for the professional guys, to be honest, when they've got um, players coming through from clubs. <laughs> Um, to play representative football and then eventually professional football that already have um, a sound, um, you know, uh, was a base and what they've learned through their coaches. Uh, I think, I mean, one of the things that happens is a lot of people are a little bit shy to come forward, and I'm pretty sure that if you go to, if your kids are at school, if you say, look, I'd like to get involved in some way. Um, the teachers, principals at the schools would only be too happy to have you if you've got, you know, if you've got something you think you can offer, you know, put your hand up, and uh, what you get back from it is, is tenfold. Uh, if you've played the sport, I mean, that's a starting point. If you've played something or you've had fun um, in sport, that's a start. You just give, you know, if your focus is to give people the same enjoyment that you had, um, then that's a start. The skills or the, the techniques of coaching, they will come. They will come as you learn it, and, and hopefully, if you're coaching with a school, like a, a secondary school or something like that, the sports coordinators at the school will have something for you in terms of professional development. Um, and then if you're coaching in certain sports, you know, like uh, football or rugby or netball, um, there's also the development offices that will, that hopefully they'll help support you with, the, with say, the technical side of coaching. The, the good things about being a volunteer coach is the people you meet, you know, and, and as opposed to being, say, a professional coach, I mean, I'm not saying there's, there's less pressure, but um, when you're a volunteer coach, I mean, everybody's pretty much doing it for the same reason, the love of the sport. At professional level, sometimes the athletes you're working with, they're paid to be there, and um, to be honest, sometimes you feel that. And, uh, you know, if you don't perform, you know, both the athletes are gone and you're gone as well. But certainly at, at uh, volunteer level, it's you know, everybody's there for the same purpose. Yeah. Okay, cool. Thanks.